Good evening, and thank you for joining us for this evening's EvoFest Evolution Concert Series presentation, brought to you by Banff Center for Arts and Creativity. My name is Roman Boris. I'm a cellist and member of the Griffin Trio, and I serve as co-director of Banff Center Classical Music Summer Programs together with my Griffin Trio colleagues, violinist Annalie Patty Patanakun and pianist Jamie Parker. Banff Center for Arts and Creativity is located on the lands of Treaty 7 territory. We acknowledge the past, present, and future generations of Stony Nakoda, Blackfoot, and Tsutina nations who help us steward this land as well as honor and celebrate this place. This summer, Banff Center Evolution Quartet and Evolution Classical programs have engaged early career and faculty artists from all over the world and made it possible for them to work together in virtual and in-person settings. This evening's performance will feature three 45-minute presentations curated and produced by participants in the Banff Center Evolution Classical program. Having encouraged these artists to reconsider classical music conventions and challenged them to coalesce and convey a unique artistic point of view, their performances celebrate tradition, new creation and curatorial innovation, and offer us inspiring evidence of evolution in progress. We begin this evening with Duo Beja Flor joining us from Saint Adèle, Quebec. We then move to Gainesville, Florida for a performance by percussionist Britton Renee Collins. And we conclude our evening with a Dastour Woods duo joining us from St. Louis, Missouri. Bav Center Evolution Programs and EvoFest are made possible through generous funder and donor support. This evening's virtual performances are presented with additional support from Prairie Debut and the National Arts Center and brought to you via live stream with support from OurConcerts.Live. The Banff Center EvoFest Evolution Concert Series concludes on August 14th and I invite you to visit banffcenter.ca for additional information. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the performance. Bonsoir et bienvenue à Saint-Adèle, Québec. We are Duo Beja Flor. My name is Marie-Noëlle Choquette, and here's my partner, Charles Hobson. Thank you so much to be here with us tonight, and we are so lucky to have a real audience with us, as well as a virtual one. So, let's start. Imagine a beautiful garden full of flowers of all colors. Suddenly, a hummingbird appears, flying from flower to flower, tasting all of the nectars, beige flor. We are taking you today on a journey through the musical garden stemming from the Latin world.
can be a bouquet of flowers, but it can also be a bouquet of tears, tears of anger. Those tears will be pouring from El Paño Moruno, Polo, and Alta Alta Es La Luna. For the moon is very high, a silent witness to all those stories of love and broken hearts.
Thank you so much. Often, when we have a heartbreak, we're really, really sad and lonely. Asturiana tells the story of a young woman, young woman's heartbreak. After confessing her love to the man of her desire, she unfortunately is not loved back. She's devastated and runs to seek refuge under a big pine tree. She starts crying so much, so, so much, that the tree is moved to tears and cries with her. After the sadness, well, not much can happen so bad after the sadness, but sadness can be caused by plenty of things and the loneliness also. So this piece, Boulevard San Jorge, was composed by Narciso Sal in an attempt to heal the loneliness caused by homesickness. He was living in Paris on Boulevard Saint Georges and he felt so far away from his native Argentina. 
The only time he could find a little bit of connection with his native country was when he was going near his window, listening to the infernal noise of traffic, cars and honks. He was then brought back to Buenos Aires with his family and the spirit and soul of the country he loved so much. When we're lonely, or when we feel homesick because we're somewhere where we've never been before, one of the best things you can do is just get out there and be among as many people as possible. And a great place to do that is to go to Carnival. You can make new friends, maybe even heal your broken heart. And if you're in Havana, you might be able to see a street parade.
And I have to say my joke of guitar. There's a joke saying that guitarists pass half their time practicing and the other half tuning. <laughs> so here's the other half. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Speaking of that, sometimes going to Carnaval and being among a lot of people isn't for everyone, myself included. In those cases, it's probably best just to sit back and get lost in a sea of your own thoughts. Dig deep, look into your soul, and reflect on the memories of melancholy that we're all taking with us into oblivion.
pride and envy can be the inspiration for greater things. Piazzolla's violinist did the error one day to complain that he didn't have enough solos. Piazzolla took it to heart, so he wrote for him this piece. He gave it to him the day of the concert to be certain he wouldn't have time to rehearse. And on top of it, he entitled it Shark, Esqualo. And what Piazzolla didn't consider, though, was that the shark is always the predator. We leave you now with the most beautiful emotion there is, the one that's the most generous, the most contagious. Joy. Joie. Alegria. Felicidade. Because whatever language you speak, a smile is always answered with a smile. Thank you so much to have him here physically and virtually. Thank you to the BAMF Center, thank you to the National Art Center and Prairie Debut for making this concert possible. We're really happy to have been part of that first EVO Fest. And we leave you now with 
Pe Jimoleke. Thank you and hope to see you soon.
to the earth, mother of all, I will sing the well established. surface, everything that lives. Those things that walk upon the holy ground, and those that swim in the sea, and those that fly. It is thanks to you if we humans have healthy children and rich harvests. Great Earth, you have the power to give life to and to take it away. From creatures that must Happy are the ones whom you honor with your kindness and gifts. What they have built will not vanish. Their herds prosper. And their houses are full of good things. Their cities are governed with just Their women are beautiful. Good fortune and wealth follow them. Yes. 
blessing with happiness in your hearts. Holier, undying spirit. So it is with those whom you honor. Hail to you. Mother of life. are loved by the starry sky. Be generous and give me a happy life. In return for my song, so that I can continue to praise you with my music.
One, 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 two, one, 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 one. One, three, one, 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 two, one, three, what four, one, one, cinco, five, ten, one, otto, quatre, eight, one, undici, sieben, diciannove, one, five, quinze, six, quattro, one, zwei, eight, one, thirteen, one, nine, zwanzig, eighty-four, Read eleven, thirty-six, six, ocho, one, three, thirty, fourteen, five, four, siete, six, one, one hundred, six, seven, six, one, six, seven, eight, one, thirteen, one, eight, nine, one, eight, 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 one,
We began in a home that is no longer ours, wondering if it will ever be ours again. For Poulenc, while Paris was his lifetime home, this was the first time in his life he felt his home transformed and made foreign to him. So what can we do when we feel like a foreigner in our own home? We look for a new one. Maurice Ravel was also from Paris and went to America in search of something new. Here he heard the blues and transformed his sound and for him, his home.
Ravel wanted to find something new, a new sound, new music, and a new home. How do we feel without a home? How do we feel while we search? We feel anxious and unsettled, wondering where to look and reflecting within. Thanks to Prokofiev and Avner Dorman, we have music that makes us feel this way and that wonders, where is our final home?
Prokofiev didn't feel at home in Russia, but neither did Tchaikovsky. He felt more at home in Europe. Problem was, he was still Russian, so he invented a home for himself, a beloved place in the town of Brelov in Ukraine. And for that place, his place of rest and comfort, he wrote a melody of escape, taking us with him to places beyond his physical home. Smetna wasn't thrilled to be moving to the Czech countryside. His health was failing. He felt far from his place of work and his place of inspiration. But turns out he was actually rather inspired at this time because he wrote some of his most personal music at this point in his life. Smetna had to completely rethink how he thought about home, how he thought about his physical home and his artistic home. We, like Smetna, are so fortunate to have incredible music like this to motivate us and inspire us. But most importantly, it helps us think differently about our lives and about our homes.